Okay, here we are coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply. We're bringing you the third series of our four series oil centrifuge. Okay, um, again, we've ran our unit. This is the third time. Uh, all three times, the exact same flow. We haven't adjusted this at all, but this time we used heat. We ran anywhere from 160 to 180. Okay. Um, Right here is what we pulled out. Now mind you, this is the third run of the exact same oil. Okay, but this time we have heat. Look at that. I, I mean the heat is amazing with what it'll help pull out. Plus notice the water. Okay, all the orange drops and stuff. Um, here's another thing that I'm kind of surprised nobody ever mentions. Uh, look at the condensation. Okay. So we had to cut holes in two sides of it to vent it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It took a while to find the hole. Okay. Um, with our heater, you can see we run a thermostat. Okay. All our heaters will come with this. Uh, if you're going to adjust the heater, uh, depending on the flow, you're going to need more heat. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, again, I'm going back to the same thing. If you've been watching this series, single pass. Okay. Uh, none of these. Now, I take that back. These units can be single pass, but you have to slow them down. None of them can do what people are claiming. Look at that. This is, by the time I get done, this is going to be some really clean oil, okay? Uh, but in any case, the next one, we're going to keep, keep the heat up, but we're going to cut it down to probably five gallons an hour flow, okay? That's going to be the last in our series. I, I just thought you might want to see exactly what happens. Okay, we're, at, we're averaging uh, 10, 11 gallons an hour flow at present. Um, when you buy our units, you're going to get sample liners. The liners will fit inside. Basically, when you're ready, you pull the liner, all this crap will come out, okay? I mean, that's yeah, kind of fun to play with. Uh, but that's, like I said, that's after three runs now. Um, the next run, we will be five gallons per hour with heat. And I think you're going to be amazed. What we're finding out, um, we sent all our tests in yesterday to T.F. Hutchins uh, lab in Duluth, uh, Georgia, I believe. I'm not sure when we're going to get it back. This is just one of probably three or four uh, tests we're going to do. Okay, so you're going to get to see PDF. You're going to get to know exactly. It's not just going to be people talking. Okay, you're gonna get, we ran them, uh, all the units at 10 and 5. Okay, we were able to adjust it with the frequency drive so we know exactly what we were getting. Um, we were running it all through with heat too. Okay, one of the units who claims you can run 60, 70 gallons per hour, we took him to task. We ran his unit at 60 gallons an hour, and then we ran it at 20 and sent the oil out. Plus, we also sent the test sample itself, so you know where we're starting at, you know where it's at at 10 gallons per hour, and you'll know where it's at at 5 gallons an hour. So, um, one more in this series. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if this is boring the crap out of you, but in any case, um, I warned you, okay, you're going to know more about these things than you ever wanted to. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Watch the last movie. Again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge, where we don't just make the units, we use the units. Okay? You can come by anytime. Call us. We'll run your oil through anybody's unit you want to. Thanks for watching, people.